Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Kimberly Bottom with Apex TV, bringing you a special conversation with Apex leadership about moving forward during the COVID-19 pandemic. We've got Paul McCarthy, president and COO of the Automotive Aftermarket Suppliers Association, and Bill Hanvey, president and CEO of the Auto Care Association. Thank you guys for being here. And Bill, why don't you kick us off? Thanks, Kimberly and Paul. It's always great to see you. I want to thank all of you for joining us today on this important Apex Town Hall. I've had a consistent theme throughout this crisis, and that is, here's what I know. While circumstances are constantly changing, sometimes from hour to hour, I think it's critical for all of you to hear, here's what I know. As presidents of your associations, Paul and I have been working to help guide our industry through this crisis and drive our industry forward. So let's get on with, here's what I know. Thank you for submitting so many great questions. And now what I'd like to turn it over to my partner, Paul, for some comments. Well, well said, Bill. Now our associations understand the immense challenges that our industry faces, but nonetheless, there is reason for hope. Miles driven are beginning to pick up. Wall Street has identified the aftermarket as a valuable investment opportunity in the recovery. And our industry has been essential throughout this crisis, which is a testament to our importance for the American and global economies. And now let's answer your most pressing questions about Apex. Paul, I agree with you. Let's dive right into the questions and let's start with the big one, shall we? So when can we expect a final decision on whether Apex will be held as planned or whether there's a modified format or a different date or location? This is a very fluid situation. Uh, and we're monitoring both federal and state mandates, obviously the Nevada mandates. And really, unless, this, uh, unless the state of Nevada or the federal government tells us otherwise, we are on with APEX and the AWDA conference, let's not forget, uh, as scheduled. Uh, if, if we do have to cancel, and, and, and again, it would only be because of a government mandate, then our plan would be to provide uh, a 50% refund and 50% of the monies paid will go towards uh, APEX 2021. Absolutely, Bill. And, and I know Apex for me as well is, is home in Vegas. It just feels like home. So, Paul, do you have any, any comments on that point? There has been some questions about, you know, can we delay the show in Vegas? Vegas does not have any openings that can support our show as it goes forward. I'd also throw out, uh, there's obviously been a lot of delayed shows, but I'd also throw out that our partners in Industry Week, SEMA, that they are very positive about their show and they're committed to moving forward with their show. And, you know, just to put some context, we certainly understand some of the attendee concerns at this time. We're in the heart of the stay-at-home orders. We're in the trough of the sales. But when you come down to it, we really don't know what things will look like in the fall. And what we do know is that we are our relationship industry. I couldn't agree with you more, Paul. Being at Apex and seeing all those familiar faces again is something we're all looking forward to. But I do realize that that has some lingering questions about safety as we all gather. So what protections will there be to protect show population from potential spread of the lingering virus? Well, it's a good question. And the most important thing is that our attendees' health and safety are our primary concern. So whatever steps we take, will be in line with what is recommended and what are best practices. Now, the good news is that there are professional organizations that specialize in these type of protocols and we will be following all their guidelines. Obviously, we'll be following what the state and federal government mandates say. And the Venetian and SANS have already released new guidelines that they have implemented. They posted it on their website and we'll be following those. There's a number of shows that are coming before us in Vegas and even specifically at the Sands in Venetian. So we'll be watching those other shows. We'll be learning from them. We'll make sure that Apex is building on the lessons learned, the best practices, again, to ensure that priority, that our attendees' health and safety is most important. 
So as we all hope for the best and look forward to our homecoming at Apex this year, some are wondering what the overall response has been like so far. So tell me, let's start with you, Bill. What do exhibitor numbers look like compared to last year? Well, I'm, I'm actually very pleased to report that the exhibitor um, tracking is, is slightly ahead of last year. And we've got some really good growth areas, uh, but we have extended uh, the cancellation of deadline until September 1st. We know um, that some people are indecisive right now, uh, but we expected those numbers to hold as our registration numbers come in. Uh, especially on the buyer side. And we're seeing uh, the same type of optimism uh, from the buyer side. Great. And Paul, I know that some of the features at Apex are really drawing those people in. Can you tell us about that a bit? Sure. Well, one example is the Repair Shop HQ. And we've received a tremendous response to this new feature. And it's resulted in some commitments from some major exhibitors to expand their presence at the show. So they have that opportunity to communicate directly with the end consumer. And I just mentioned, you know, supporting some of that data that Bill mentioned is this expansion of uh, the refund date uh, to September 1st, because essentially that makes this a no risk proposition. And so we worked hard, the show has worked hard to ensure that you can do the smart thing for your business. Now, Bill, I know you mentioned a bit about the buyer side, but Paul, can you expand upon the expectations for attendance a little bit here? Sure. So we are cautiously optimistic on what we've seen so far, but of course it's too soon to tell. One positive sign is that people are registering and we haven't even really announced registration. So with everything going on, we didn't publicize registration. We're being mindful of the situation. However, registration was actually open and, um, and we've been seeing things coming in, which is, a, again, a good sign. And of course, AWDA will be taking place as always. So Bill, you wanna add some more color on that? Well, I think the buyers are just as optimistic that uh, by November, things are gonna open up. We've, we've seen some good uh, indications in the economy already. We know that um, in April, we, uh, we had a tough time with miles driven, but. Uh, I'm many of our um, retailers and distributors had a decent week last week. Uh, they're beginning to see light at the end of the tunnel. And no, no one has said to me that they are not coming. So I think that that's encouraging to hear. And that uh, some, in fact, are saying, well, we will be there. So, and I think that that's an important note to say that, uh, you know, the buyers are optimistic, obviously. Uh, we're, we are there at Apex to buy and sell, and we want to make sure that it's a good balance, and we want to make sure that there are plenty of buyers there uh, for the exhibitors. Uh, and, you know, we're also working on some programs uh, to help incent them to come to the show as well. Now, guys, as we mentioned before, we are all still living in a time where things are changing really quickly, and it's fair for people to have questions about flexibility. So remind us again what risk exhibitors are taking by remaining committed to the show right now. We've done everything we can to try to de-risk that commitment for you. So we extended the refund period to September 1st to give us all time to understand the new normal. Hotel cancellations aren't until later in September, and we've heard from members, they're taking all kinds of creative, smart actions, reusing booths, et cetera, so they minimize their out-of-pocket. A lot of people are facing this uncertainty, right? Specifically Auto Mechanica. So yeah, Paul, can you tell true. me if that does cancel in September, will that have an impact on Apex? What I've heard from a number of member executives, executives from other continents, is that the big international show where the global aftermarket will come together this year, travel permitting, will be Apex. Auto Mechanica's decision is driven by their timing, as we understand. Uh, when they make a decision, it's driven by government actions. And it's nice that the aftermarket has an opportunity late in the year when we can see uh, and adjust to the new normal. So finally, as we wrap up here, gentlemen, um, and we continue to monitor what is a very evolving situation, how are you going to keep this crowd informed as we go forward? Paul, can we start with you? Sure. Uh, that's a great question. It really speaks to the heart of the matter of what we need to do for you. And in these uncertain times, our goal has to be transparency and not just communication, but over communication. 
So we've instructed the team to share all the information they have, to update you regularly. So first and foremost, continue to ask questions. Make this a two-way communication. Let us know what you need for ROI in an evolving situation. Read the exhibitor newsletters. Check out the website. Everything is up there. There's an FAQ page, which will build on this and that we'll try to update regularly. And we'll share the registration data uh, and numbers as soon as we can. So again, the theme here is transparency. Isn't that right, Bill? Absolutely. And, um, you know, here's what we know, I think, is an important feature. And I think that um, Paul and I are both committed uh, to doing this on a more frequent basis as um, developments arise. I also think that it's important to, to point out our partnership and the fact that the two associations not only are working on APEX uh, uh, together, but have been working for the industry's behalf uh, throughout the crisis. And I think that that's, um, I think that's very important that, that you all know that uh, we are working here on your behalf. And I just want to make sure that, that everybody knows that aside from AASA and the Auto Care Association, the, that the Glasgow team um, is behind you all the way. And uh, take advantage of some of the exhibiting and marketing resources that they're making available. They're professionals. They are trade show professionals. They're here to work with you um, and other companies. So uh, they can help you enhance your ROI at the show as well. So just make sure that you're using all the resources. It's okay to reach out for help. Uh, believe me, I've learned that throughout the course of this crisis. And um, you will find that there are a lot of resources out there uh, to give you a hand. But in particular, uh, the Glasgow team is professional and uh, they want to make it a, a success for you as well. We want this to be a profitable show for you. And I, I think that that's uh, critical to make sure that the industry is successful and that uh, going into 2021, that there's optimism and that optimism is built at the show. Um, so that's what we know. Uh, we know what we know and we know what we know at a given time, and that we're just gonna to continue to update you um, uh, as things become available. Uh, again, I, I want you all to know that um, we appreciate everything that you do for us. And uh, the only way that this works is two-way communication. And um, it's great that Paul and I are communicating to you, but you need to communicate to us. It's a two-way street. And um, it, it's important for us to hear your open and honest feedback. And uh, we will do everything within our power to ensure that you have a tremendous show. So thanks, Paul. And I'll turn it back over to you, Kimberly. Well, thank you both for being here today to answer these questions. And all of you out there listening, remember, if you still have a question, please do send an email to Junior at apexshow.com, and we will respond to you as quickly as possible. So until November, when we are all home again at Apex, stay healthy, stay safe, take care, guys.